by the end of this lecture, you're going to understand how to test directives by using wrapper components. So we're going to test a directive called a hover focus directive. It's similar to the directive that we created in the section on directives. It has a selector called hover focus. And if it's attached to an element hovering over that element, sets the background color to blue. And then hovering away from that element uh, leaves whatever, makes it return to whatever background color it had previously. It uses the host listener decorator to listen to both the mouse over and mouse out events on its host element. And it also uses the host binding decorator to set the style property of its host element. And looking at our test suite file, it's very similar to our previous examples. We just have one test suite file. We have a before each function. And inside there, I'm just configuring a basic test bed with just the hover focus directive added on the declarations. Now to test the directive, we typically create a dummy testing component so we can interact with the directive and test its effect on the component's view. So at the top of our file, I'm just going to create a dummy component called test hover focus component. It just has a simple in the template it just has a simple input control where we've just attached the hover focus directive. Now we have a component to work with. We can configure the test bed and get the required references for our test. So the first thing I want to configure is I need to add the test hover focus component to our list of declarations. Then let's grab a reference to both the fixture and the component. So first I grab the fixture and remember we're grabbing the test hover focus component, our test component that we've created. And then I want an actual instance of that component, which I grab from the fixture. And the other thing I need is I actually need a reference to the input control itself because I want to test to see whether or not that turns blue or not. So I grab an input input L debug element as well. So again, I grab that through the fixture. So fixture.debug element, I query. I'm querying by CSS selector, the selector of input. And I just store that on the input element. So now I just add a test spec underneath. And the rest of this should actually be pretty straightforward. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to trigger a hover, a mouse over event over my input element, remember my hover focus directive listens to the mouse over event. And then we need to trigger a change detection run. So we call fixture dot detect changes. And then we can check to see if the background color of our input element is blue as we expect. And we can do the same the opposite way around. So we can we trigger a mouse out event. And again, a change detection run. And then we just need to make sure that the background color is set to inherit now. So now if we run our application, our test, sorry, we can see the tests actually pass. And one thing I just want to make very clear, it's we're checking the style property of the native elements. The style property is an object which contains just a list of styles. So we're saying the background color, we're grabbing that from the style property. It's not directly a DOM property itself. We have to go through the style property. So to summarize, in order to test directives, we use a dummy test component, which we can create using the Angular test bed and which we can interact with by using a component fixture. And then we can trigger events on debug elements by using the trigger event handler function. And if we want to see what styles are applied to the element, we can find out via the native element.styles property.